In part 2, we will explain an overload with motor circuit and we'll know what overload consists of and how to test our overload relay. So how this overload relay works in this baby circuit. The feedback from an overload relay usually takes a form of a normal closed contact in the control circuit. And when overload is deactivated, this contact is closed. And if the motor is running under normal conditions, it will stay in the closed state. Current sensitive thermal elements inside the primary circuit, when senses a continuous overload condition, the contacts will open, and the contactor coil will be de-energized. So the contactor will break the connection and the primary contacts will open. So what overload consists of? This is a three-phase overload relay with two auxiliary contacts. A 95 to 96 pair is normally closed. A 97 to 98 pair is normally open. Most overload relays share some common features. For example, a reset button that can be toggled between manual and automatic mode and an adjustable current setting. The manual or automatic reset means that after sensing a continuous overload condition, the overload may require a manual acknowledgement to be reset. That's why they give it H for hand. Or after cooling down the overload elements, the overload will automatically reset itself. If an overload by accident placed in the wrong mode for a particular application, a dangerous condition could happen. Overload relays with adjustable current setting allow the overload to be used for a different range of applications. If the setting is incorrect, the overload will not function as we want, and perhaps trip early or worse. Some overload relays may have a trip indicator that gives us a visual signal of the overload relay status. So how to test our overload relay? Here is a picture of an overload that's not triggered or in the deactivated state. Note that there is a connection between the L1 input and T1 output as shown by the ohm meter. The 95 to 96 pair of auxiliary contacts is closed as shown by the ohm meter. If I manually press the test button of the overload, the connection from L1 to T1 still exists. The three-phase overload elements in the activated state is not breaking a power to the motor. When I moved my ohm meter to the auxiliary contact, I found that this normally closed the contact open. So this is the interaction point that tells the contactor to break the connection to the motor. That's it. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Cheers.